After two years, I'd really like to see the car run. I just want to see it drive, I want to see it pull out of the driveway, I want to see it go down the straight, but, but now we've just got to put in the time, put in the efforts, and uh, hopefully see the reward. I think we'll make it. I think we'll make it. I think going into this project I was quite naive. Like everyone tells you stuff is gonna go wrong. It almost seemed at each step we just run into a roadblock. And I was like, right, is this terminal? Like, is this gonna push us back a month or is this gonna push us back a few hours? It doesn't matter what walk of life you're in, whether you're in Formula One or you're running a student project, things come your way that are out of your control. And it's not just lockdowns. We're facing problems with the supply chain of components in this country at the moment. I wouldn't bring a pandemic upon anybody but hopefully we're all learning from it and hopefully we'll all be better as a result. Because when we're faced with adversity, invariably there's a, a good way out, there's not the perfect way out, but what we need to try and find is the best solution. I, f I feel like we've been reacting to spanners in the works probably at every possible stage. <laughs> I mean, the entire car is just iterating on itself, really. Like the steering, the suspension, um, even solar panels, drivetrain, there's all these components that can be changed and have been changed. I never saw myself three years ago coding an app for the centre display of a solar powered car, so that's pretty cool. I'm a new recruit for the computer science team, so I have been working on the centre display. Definitely onboarding onto a project like this, there's a lot to learn, and I've learnt some new coding languages out of this. There are some really incredible people on this team and if they can have the car working, that would be insane. I think the moment I'm going to sit in it and actually put my foot in the pedal and the moment's going to move, I feel like there's going to be a fair bit of emotion hitting me all at once. It's really hard to explain, it's, it's pretty amazing. There's been a lot of hours that have gone into this car personally and from a whole team level and to be able to get it moving under its own power was just um, emotional, very, very emotional. To be able to showcase one, the technology, but two, the students' ability to work with that technology, I think that's what this project should be standing for. Yes, we want to go out and win the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, but one thing that COVID taught us was there's many more things that we can achieve rather than just winning a race. I couldn't imagine a better way to end the year with the team. It was quite overwhelming, but really, really good. It was very much a successful run, but there's still the, the rest of the car to complete before we can do that proper shakedown test in the next couple of weeks or so.